welcome back to a brand new video so we was going to uh, head a little towards the uh, the south side of blackpool this evening but the traffic you can see is standstill all the way to the gin roundabout so we branched off and i thought we'd have a, a bit of a walk along the problem see if there's any lights and things for the uh, the christmas market and we see they've got the uh, the north pier that looks quite busy just to the uh, right and uh, yeah so we'll have a, a bit of a walk yeah, as it is packed in blackpool this evening and you can see the uh, strobe lights look at that how lovely does that look just to the uh, the right of the tower so yeah we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around the uh, the town center and you think you know it's like nine ten o'clock at night but it is very very early still it's only about half past five quarter to six on a Saturday afternoon or e very early evening. And uh, yeah, Blackpool is certainly uh, busy tonight. So we'll have a, a bit of a walk around and uh, just see if there's anything new, anything's lit up on this Christmas market. So I was walking just to the, uh, the right side of Shannigan's and again, always very busy those pubs. Uh, we've got Shannigan's Yates and all along this, uh, this stretch and it's, uh, I said many a time, Blackpool just comes alive at night time with the, uh, the wonderful colours. You can see the uh, tower is lit up and out like a, a turquoise colour, green turquoise tonight. And, uh, that certainly looks, uh, looks amazing. And like I said, Blackpool is actually quite busy for us uh, at the end of the season. And it's always, always great those little displays, you know, what's selling little swords and things. They certainly bring the, uh, the colours uh, into Blackpool. So I just walked past the, uh, the beach house. Now we're gonna have a, a quick look at all these, uh, all these stalls. Just imagine you know, on the, uh, the 15th, on the Friday. So it's all fully open on Friday. The, uh, the market, it's gonna be wonderful. Like I said, this is a, certainly a spectacular event for everybody so let's just have a, a bit of a walk just a little closer and we can see some of the uh, the amazing uh, events and rides everything what's coming see that one's uh, certainly lit up that's the uh the, the sponge is it the super bob I do apologize the super bob you can't be really seen in the dark yeah, uh, certainly a, a colourful one. Like, so this is the uh, going to be the uh, the ice skating. So all this will be uh, lit up. And, uh, let's just uh, go a little forward. You can see how busy uh, Blackpool is. It's packed, absolutely packed tonight. So yeah, I think what we'll do, we're going to head over to the. Uh, if we can get onto the, the comedy carpet, have a, a quick look around. You see those wonderful lasers from Central Pier. So I'll have a little wonder down there also. So yeah, this is, a, this is the comedy carpet. And, uh, that's the, uh, the Helter Skelter, just to the, uh, the right side of the screen. The, uh, the Blackpool sign, all lit up. Many people take the, uh, the snapshots and all sorts from that location. So again, all these in a, a, less than a week now is lit up. As you see this huge, great snowman. Let's have a look at this one. Ah, he's certainly... Uh, He's guarding the, uh, the pay here. Look at that, that's a, that's a huge one. There we go, look at him. He's certainly guarding the, uh, the pay meter. So you see the work is still going on behind the scenes uh, of the market, even at this time. It's amazing those uh, lasers. You can see them all over Blackpool. So, so launched into the uh, into the sky. 
Yeah, it's certainly uh, certainly good. So I'll have a, a bit of a walk near Central Pier. Like I said, I'm a bit disappointed. I was going to try to come out to the, uh, the south side. I mean, I could have gone the long way around. Um, I sort of time was uh, time was against us a little. So uh, yeah, I thought come uh, we haven't sort of done the uh, the lights for uh, a while, especially when it's nice and dry. And it's like that, that crisp feeling tonight. You know, it's 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 like a, a bit of a nip in the air, but it's not that cold and uh, everything's so still. So you can see the uh, all the lights, and again, you know, another another great one. This one, everyone has the walk underneath there, the uh, the spindles, and uh, <coughs> takes them. Uh, and take them special pictures. You can just see the uh, the wheel in the background. Look at those lasers. They look uh, really, really great. We're just going up to the uh, RNLI, the uh, the lifeboats. You can see how many people sit along these uh, these nice little walls, little little seats. Um, what people sit on? Imagine how many people have sat here, just taking the atmosphere in. And you can see, like I said, it's uh, it's extremely busy tonight. And we've even got a low flying craft uh, just a uh, just straight ahead. It is very low low flying that one. Yeah, it's wonderful to see Blackpool. Um, so busy, especially uh, this time of year, you know, when when it's so near Christmas and you know money's that little tight. Yeah, look at the uh, look at the big wheel. Those uh, those lights look uh, really nice. So we saw just near the Odyssey, you see all the uh, the smoke coming from that one. That certainly uh, is an attraction for Blackpool. And, uh, it's certainly flashing. See all the smoke whipping out. Uh, like I say, he plays with all different sorts of music and lights up in sequence. Like I say, it's a, another fantastic attraction for Blackpool. So let's just have a, a quick look over towards the uh, the wheel. You can see it's like a, a mist rolling over. Um, from the uh, from the Odyssey, and it looks really nice. Everything sort of lights up, perfect. And you can see the uh, the central pier, and like I said, those uh, those laser lights. Look at that! Certainly great. And that little bar as well. Oh, there's a bit of controversy about on central pier, just in the distance. And uh, that is uh, looks to be completely packed out tonight. That's just a bit of a shot looking back at the tower and you can see all the uh, the smoke, excuse me, all the smoke rolling off that uh, the Odyssey and it just looks really nice. It sort of just brings it Brings it, brings the picture out, shall I say. Oh, it's certainly uh, busy tonight, which is, uh, which is great. And there's many people, even on the beach, just having that bit of a stroll, the tides out and taking the, uh, the atmosphere in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back towards the, uh, the north side and uh, just have a look at the, uh, the lights and uh, what is going on towards the north side of Blackpool. The, uh, the horse and carriages all lit up, taking those people for uh, a bit of a, a bit of a tour around Blackpool. And, uh, you see how they uh, how they're all decorated. It's, it's certainly great. Like in the daytime, they all look the same, but at nighttime, you know, each and every one of those, there's a there's a whole load of them. Look at this. Check this out. One after another, coming back. And like I said, each and every one of them. Is uh, lit up differently. So yeah, I think what we'll do is head back, like I said, uh, past the uh, the North Pier, uh, next near the Gin Roundabout. So have a look up 
up that neck of the woods. But it's, uh, it's certainly bright tonight in Blackpool, the, uh, all the arcades. And uh, everybody, like I said, uh, enjoying themselves. And there is a service tomorrow uh, in regards to uh, Remembrance Day. So uh, obviously a lot of people will be uh, holding that two minute silence. Because imagine each and every one of us, you know, has, uh, has probably lost somebody dear to us. Grandparents, great grandparents in the uh, in the war. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll cover that one because that's uh, something very special. And, uh, you see the the tower is it's fantastic how it changes colour. I guess it was like a, a lime green, a turquoise colour earlier on. Now it's all streaks with different colours, which is uh, which is great. And like I say, it's a it's a it's a busy old night tonight. Said is a certainly a lot of people are, and I'm certainly looking forward to the uh, the Christmas markets. Going past the uh, the spindles again, so I won't sort of stay too long. But you can just see on the spring you how many people queue up for these. You see the uh, the long queues. So just back near the uh, the comedy carpet, it looks like they've got the uh, projections going onto the uh, the tower wall. So let's have a, a quick look at those. And there we go. Look how lovely that one looks. You see the uh, whole of the tower wall is all lit up. You got the old uh, Sutty and Sweep show on. Certainly, uh, certainly a good one. It's amazing how they do that. They do all sorts of shows. Like I said, just projected onto the uh, onto the tower. So yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll uh, move on a little bit forward. Like I said, get a bit towards the uh, the north side. Oh, As you can see, it's uh, certainly a lot of people out, which is great. Certainly great. So if the, uh, the hustle and bustle of Blackpool is not really for you, I know a fantastic little place. And it's just literally a stone's throw from Blackpool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a look at that because it's so relaxing and yeah, it's so colorful, but it doesn't grab the, uh, the crowds as Blackpool does. So we're gonna have a, a quick look at that one. Uh, just heading back past the uh, the North Pier and see the uh, the Heritage Tram Tours. It's a uh, private hire. You see that's uh, certainly packed. And it goes all the way to Fleetwood, I'd imagine, taking people on that magical ride. You see how many people are on there. So another, another great little thing for Blackpool. Uh, this is a, uh, a great, so it's Queen Square, this one. It's a great little spot for, uh, for the pubs and the, uh, the clubs. And this will spring into action later on tonight. And like I said, they've got some fantastic pubs and clubs in this little spot. And recently, they've put this like little benches and little uh, fences around there. And that's all great just to have your, your glass of the night time and taking the, uh, the wonderful scenes and the atmosphere. So we're just near the, uh, the Ginn Square uh, in the north uh, side of Blackpool. Look at that one, the uh, Red Fern Travel. That's a, certainly a swish bus. Look at that. So, not too sure that where that is, where that's uh, the destination as well. That certainly looks a, a nice one. But yeah, we're just near the, uh, the Ginn Roundabout. And uh, we're just gonna have a, a bit of a look around the, uh, the north side of Blackpool and the, uh, the Ginn Roundabout. 
certainly uh, isn't shy for putting a, a great little feature on. You see those uh, wonderful RAF uh, Spitfire planes right in the uh, right in the centre. Just look at that! Look how lovely they're lit up. Certainly, a, certainly a sight. Like so they put all sorts of displays uh, on the uh, the gin roundabout. So yeah, we're gonna move on a little further. I'll just show you this uh, really nice little spot. So this is Jubilee Gardens, and it's uh, it's lit up so lovely at night time. And uh, like I said, it's just away from the uh, the hustle and bustle um, of the of the town centre. Um, we'll just have a, a little walk through because. Like I said, it's, a, it's an amazing little place. There's so many little seats, and uh, we've we've done this in the daytime, but not really at night time. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, you see, there's there's no one around. It's all sort of peaceful and uh, and relaxing. Like I said, you got all the uh, all the benefits of all the uh, the lights, and uh, it's uh, certainly like a a tranquil place. This one. See, it's a, like I say, it goes on for quite a long time. It's all, all lit up with the, uh, the magnificent colours. Yeah, it's certainly, uh, certainly a good little spot. So, yeah, so, so apologies, uh, I haven't been really posting as of late. Like I say, just uh, with uh, working on the house and all sorts. And come to, to come to mention, actually, I've got some uh, guttering clean today. Um, I'll pop his, um, his leaflet on the screen in a few seconds. But he certainly did a fantastic job. So if you do live in Blackpool and you need your, your guttering cleaned, then give him a call. He certainly did a great job and a, such a friendly, friendly guy who turned up. So like I said, I'll, uh, I'll pop his, uh, his number and everything in the description. And uh, like I said, I don't normally sort of promote businesses. Um, it's not really what we do, but you know, when credit's due, credit is certainly due. Look at that little display on the on the ground there. So yeah, it's certainly, certainly a, a lovely place. This, like I said, it's all lit up and it's uh, it's so quiet. Like I said, if you want something just a little bit away from the promenade, then come and visit the uh, the Jubilee Gardens, just near the uh, the Gin Roundabout. I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of a walk around. Like I said, apologies, it wasn't near the the south side, which I planned. Uh, just time was uh, against me um, yet again, but hopefully if anything we'll be back to normal next week. Um, so until next time, take care of yourself. If you haven't uh, already subscribed, you do like the content, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, any comments, I will try to get back to you. So until next time, take care, and it is a bye from me. Bye-bye.